She wears her breast on her chest like a pair of purple heart medals. She'll resist all attempts to peer down her dress. Remember, cleavage seen seems to be a trap. A horse and carriage, rein and bridle strap. The old bait and switch technique, carried on a stick approach. You think you copped a free look when you realize you've been saddled with a guilt trip. Yes, that old twin pyramid scheme has her dreaming of you buying a diamond ring to slip on her left pinky's neighbor. To labor the point, the favorite tactic employed by Wonder Bra saleswomen at Victory's a secret fashion statement, female department store franchise designed to lift and separate you from your money. Legally, of course. Cross my heart and hope to pass thick and needle up my, uh, what was I saying? Needless to say, I need to confess while kneeling at the altar of past indiscretions, remonstrating nothing, staring down mammoth masses till a slap in my face snaps me back to reality. Hell, lady, what was I supposed to do? I didn't mean to thump your bumper or to jump to unsubstantiated occlusions while pumping white sustenance, but the illusion of being lulled to sleep on your mammoth pillows of baby life support nutrient feeding systems stands in stark naked contrast to my red face. You're busted by the thoughts of the embarrassed laces I would, by the embarrassed thoughts of the lacy undies I would strip from your head, hips. And do not give me that. You broke it, you bought it, Buster Diatribe, with the bride of Frankenstein yelling, it's a lie, while reminding me of my lies, by sticking a shotgun to my ribs, all the while attacking the moral fabric of my country, tis a V, or rather my country, tis a Y, because real men like to eat at the Y. Oh, I don't know who told me what or when they told me where or how, but they told me, and so now I am telling you that I think I'll just mosey on down to the OK Corral where I'll buck some wild bronco before I purchase um, before I pony up the purchase price on a ticket to tour the Grand Canyon found between Le Grand Titan, uh huh, I'll just mortgage my life as down payment, collateral to an eternity of alimony and matrimony, money fronted to the cause of maintaining marital harmony. For, as is explicitly stated in the Declaration of My Interdependence, when in a course of human affairs, when in the course of human affairs makes it necessary to separate the bonds attaching one to another, I divorce myself beyond the shadow of a reasonable doubt, citing irreconcilable differences. Your Honor, I rest my case of arrested development. After all, I am a leg man. Red, it bleeds. Red, it drips. I wipe away my nose with my fingertips. The concrete, as I knelt, strangely no cut I felt. As I rose to stand erect, the bright red was quite direct. Oh, a child I was, sad and sobbing, the hot red pressure throbbing, chasing a boy while riding a bike, falling to my knee, like Through tiny pores, like little ants, yellow, they, they turn infected under my pants. The stinging stain embarrassed me. And summer school figured out its chemistry. The red during puberty did not infect my purity. <laughs> Good clap. Lluvia, corre, lluvia, gotea. Atas mi corazón como una correa, porque tu beso me tontea. Through heartache, open wounds, empty flesh hollows, red covered tombs. In shock I was, the period seized, the red not coming, I was not pleased. Heart and knuckles and red are tarred, forever they are scarred. On the job, gray dust turns red through my respirator, dizziness in my head. I pray at church, they serve me red. I eat my dumplings, they serve me red. I can breathe, but red comes out. Plasma, blood clots. I curse and shout. My paranoia lurks and hides. For 30 days, red spills from all sides. Deep breathing, deep meditation, controlling the bleeding. No lack, no slack or hesitation. The red flows as it is meant to be. Distastefully, it is a curse to me. The red inside me boils, all my clothing it soils. 
I cannot continue either day without some red spilling away. I fear when in private, if you see it, I want to hide it. You ask me why I fear the red. It is a danger inside my head. Like a trigger to a bowl, red restrains me into a lull. <laughs> 